Good morning. So, it's the day after the caucus. Just thoughts. To everyone out there in internet land, did you actually think Haley was going to be number two? Did you really think she was going to be number two? I mean, let's take a quick look. Real quick look. There's Haley. Do you notice anything about her? Well, let's see. Let's start with the fact she is a woman. And then move on to the fact that she is a woman of color. Good morning, guys. Just a little quick just thought recording. Do you really think they were going to let her be the second choice to run this country? They lost their mind over a white woman. You may remember Hillary Clinton. They had a complete total meltdown. That, oh my God. That's why um, Jill Stein is such a fucking joke. Yeah. No way are they going to allow a woman. Not right now. Not with the mindset of this country. To be president. Let's understand that. So when you bring up AOC or Cory Bush. That's, that's Boulder Dash. They played the same game on this woman. That they played on Stacey Abrams. The women will vote her to be, be governor. They'll vote her to be governor. So anytime somebody brings her up to run for president, tell them quickly, we know damn well there are far too many small, narrow-minded people in this country to ever vote for a woman of color to be top of the ticket. They don't even want her to be second. Have you seen DeSantis? Have you watched this man licking his lips like a lizard going after flies? And the voters said, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we know he's bad. We've seen the shit show in Florida, but woman of color? Oh, hell no. Fuck no. We cannot have that. Hold on. Take a look at this. These two. On stage. River Swamy what what was never ever. Let let's 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 take a dose of reality. Trump was going to be the nominee last year, last fall, last spring. We can go back even further. To June of 2023. Trump was going to be the nominee because the Republican Party owes him too much. The Republican Party fears him. It's like a kid at school. This is the big bully. And everybody grins and makes nice and won't say anything because they're afraid of the secrets that he knows. That's it, full stop. All of us have known a bully sometime during our life. Right? We all have known a bully who has shh, secrets. That's Trump. That's his superpower. And unfortunately, we have far too many yuck yucks in this country that don't look around and go, why is everyone kissing his ring? Why is everyone making trips to Florida? That didn't happen when Bush left office. That didn't happen when Carter left office. That didn't happen when Reagan left office. No one is using their noodle and going, why are they making these special trips? No one made a special trip to Obama when he left office. Why are they making special trips to Trump? Think it through. It's not hard to figure out. The man holds secrets. The Republican Party is terrified. And the evangelicals, even though he is a adulterer, 
thrice married, had an affair three times, liar, cheater, con man. That he's still their guy. But someone who may have been maybe a first time offender, keep them in jail. They're a menace to society. To go back to the caucus, River Swami was so damn desperate, he tried to do that old shell game. A vote for me is a vote for Trump. A vote for me is a vote for Trump. If you at least keep me in the second spot, you know, I'll be there to support Trump. And I can reach out to the people of color to support Trump. That's how desperate he got in the last four or five days. These two could not bring up a single solitary thing that Trump did wrong. Why? Because they were terrified. And to take a close look at the picture, you can clearly see she's got even more color than a man who lives in Florida. So that should tell you right there, no way in hell was she going to be the second in Iowa. And I invite you, my friends, to look through all of the news reporting this morning. They keep making little comments about he won in the small, small towns in Iowa. Those who didn't go to college. That's who he won with. He overwhelmed Nikki Haley. I'm speaking of DeSantis. Because the people in the small towns who are very rural, who didn't go to college. <coughs> I am seriously... Will somebody in the fucking news say, hey, the Hucklebucks that ain't never left their town of three to six hundred people, the Hucklebucks who have never crossed the state line, the arrogant, the small-minded, the uneducated voted for DeSantis because he has less color than Nikki Haley. Oh, she tried. I mean, that whitening cream, because she's about two shades lighter than she was when she was a kid. And it don't usually work that way. Yeah. Nikki Haley. I'm going to be prim. I'm going to be proper. I'm not going to be threatening. I'm not going to be intimidating. Actually lost. To Mr. Consistently dry lips. Come on. We've all seen it. That We've all seen it. Five and ten year olds don't lick their lips like that. But this is supposed to be in the White House? This is supposed to be the vice president. This is the vice president. Because you know the second usually ass. Usually The person who came in second. First, I'd like to be my vice president. Hey, good morning, Dred. Good morning, T. How are you? How are you? Fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> yeah, I got my live access banned um, about two or three hours ago. I was in another live speaking to a brother that was dropping facts about MAGA, and um, you know they all of the MAGA all the MAGA morons reported me for hate speech. Because we gotta, we gotta we, skip them. We gotta skip them, girl. Girl, no, we gotta because skip they them. were they were trying to say I said Trump is a racist. No, he's not. I said he got sued for not renting to black people. Well, he's a businessman. I said he's filed bankruptcy. He, how do you bankrupt a casino? A casino is one of the most lucrative businesses you can have. How do you they said bankruptcy is smart business? I said no, bankruptcy means that you didn't manage your money properly. You, you declare bankruptcy. Hold on, hold on. So that let, let me let me throw this out there. If bankruptcy is good business, why are you blocked from getting new credit for seven fucking years? Why does Thank nobody you. want to touch you? No businesses, unless it's something they can put a lien on you for. Dude said he's had thousands of businesses. I said no, he hasn't. And I said, um, do we remember Trump? Trump University was a scam. Trump stakes went under. Uh, Taj Mahal, uh, the Trump Taj Mahal, and where I'm from, Jersey, 
that went under. I said, the man is not, I said, if y'all want a businessman to run the country, why would you want one that declared bankruptcy? And they're like, oh, Biden has open borders. I said, no, Biden passed a bill at the end of, in November of 2023, that made the borders more restrictive. He suspended entry into the U.S. So what are you guys talking about? They could not tell me. They, I, they, they're like, oh, you're spreading lies. You're watching CNN. I said, I don't watch CNN. I watch C-SPAN because C-SPAN is not biased. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but here's something I want people to understand. If you stand outside somebody's house and say, they don't lock their doors. They don't lock their doors. They never lock their doors. How soon do you think before people come to try that door? The Republican Party says this over and over and over again. And the so-called liberal media stupidly repeats it. So, yes, people in other countries here, the border is open. Oh, well, they're telling us it's open. No one's saying, not a single Republican is saying, our border is secure. We have border workers that are busting their butt to keep our border secure. Not one of them, because they want to instigate shit. Uh, and for the people in the comments, you guys always say, oh, gas was this, 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 and this under Trump. Um, during the pandemic, that's when gas was at its lowest. I think you guys need to understand about supply and demand. When a demand for the supply is up, the supply is low and the price is higher. When the demand is low and the supply is higher, the price is lower. This is economics, people. I mean, this is not, you and uh, newsflash: the president does not control gas prices. When, when, did, when, did, when did we become this 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 unintelligent? This um, when do we lose our thirst for knowledge? Because I, and I can, I've been telling people for a fucking year. Trump is going to be the nominee because the Republican Party has not invested or worked to find an alternative. And Nikki Haley and River Swamy and even DeSantis, DeSantis is doing this because Florida is so pissed off at him, they're going to vote him out the next time. First of all, I'm not mad at, I'm not praising Biden. Biden is not the best, neither is Trump. Here's the, here's the difference between true voters and the MAGA cult. Voters are woman, man and woman enough to say, hey, this candidate didn't do this right. For example, I do not agree with how Biden pulled us out of Afghanistan. It was unorganized. It caused us to leave Americans behind. We lost millions, if not billions of dollars in weaponry. He did that wrong, okay? See, that's the difference. We can say what Biden did wrong. You guys find everything, you guys find every justification for Trump. He was found liable for SA. It's a lie, even though he said that he used to walk into Miss Teen USA while these young girls were getting undressed because he owned the building. He said he didn't know Epstein, but there's pictures of him and he's on the flight list. Oh, he didn't know him. He told he had he had dinner with Nick Fuentes, a known supremacist. He didn't know. You're the president. You don't know who's coming through the White House doors. That's kind of irresponsible, is it not? You took a document. Let me let me let me let me let me clear let me clear the clear the river with with them for a moment, Dredd. Fuck Joe Biden, and we don't that stutter up. when we say it. Now say the same about Trump, okay? If you can't, you're in a cult. You guys make it, and then you guys would rather have dictatorship than democracy. Trump said that if he had to be a dictator for 24 hours, he would do so. Do you really think a man that was willing to send a group of people to the Capitol to injure not only Democrats, but Republicans? There were Republicans in that building that he sent those rioters to. He turned here's on his thing. vice president. Dred, this is here's, the, here's the ignorance. Here is the ignorance, Dredd. They don't understand. When someone says, I'd only be a dictator for one day, what do you think you can get done in one day? You can do martial law, and there and is nothing did. written when martial law has to fucking end. Right. Are you not getting that? They taught, listen, 
Listen, they went to the Capitol and in four hours, six people lost their lives and dozens of police officers were injured. What do you think would happen in 24 hours? Here's a better, here, let me talk to you guys as what you are, YT Americans. Trump said that he will indemnify the police, meaning that they will not face consequences if they are found doing anything wrong. You do realize that as y'all yelled at, oh, YT people face police brutality by the hands of police officers. So don't you know that if they do it to you, you can't sue them either. That, that's what I, I don't get. Trump y'all can't sue them either. either. That's not a lie, user, whatever. It's on video. He said that he wants to indemnify the police. But see, y'all don't mind that. They, they don't understand how this will affect their own people, their own people. Th this man, this is the man who put gun regulations said, take the guns first. We'll talk about it later. Do you think if he got back in them, hey, I'm all for 2A. I love my pew pew. Same but here. If this man got back in there, he could take yours. How are they making illegals police when you have to have a high school diploma and now 60 credits or have served in the military in order to be a police officer? You have to show a birth certificate. And uh, as someone who studied the law, they, they check the back of your teeth when you become a police officer. And the majority of police officers are Caucasian. What are you talking about, sir? It's the fear factor, Dred. I keep, I keep mine short because I got to get ready. To, uh, I'm working from home, so I got to clock in. But I popped in just just for a quickie. Uh, you can find me over on Spotify Conversations Tea Time with Tea. You can also find me on YouTube Tea Time with Tea. Go through some of the videos. We talk about these subjects. We want people to respond back. That's me. Hey, Dre. Thank you so much. Oh, hold up. Look, before you go, let me say this to Easy Hub. It's not all about YT people. You just centered yourself because I said, let me turn it around and put it to you, okay? And let's get this out of the way. We are all Americans, every last one of us. We are all Americans. We have the right to work in this country. We have the right to be able to buy food, to keep a roof over our head. We have the right to freedom of speech. We have the right to protest, all of it, but Trump, does not want rights for all Americans. That's the bottom line. He does not yep. care about black Americans, YT Americans, Hispanic Americans. He is running for his presidency to, to keep himself out of prison. He does not care about you. If he cared about you, he wouldn't be taking money that Americans don't have when he has plenty of money for himself. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much yeah. for popping in. I appreciate you. Have a good one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to understand something. Go look at the history of dictatorships, real dictatorships, because we're pretty soft here in America. Those people running around telling me, yeah, he's only going to be a dictator for one day. What's so bad about a dictatorship? Go crack a book. Go crack a fucking book. We fought against dictatorships around the world. I'm sure some of y'all grandparents, great grandparents, worked, fought in World War I, World War II. You need to go back and reach back for that wisdom. Because when they said we are fighting dictatorships over there so it doesn't come here, they meant it. And you need to think about that shit. It's the, yes, ignorant, ignorant people will draw down this country. We fought dictatorships, baby. And Mussolini was a fucking dictator. The H, the H man was a dictator. Hell, Pooty Poo is a dictator. Every time somebody runs against that man, they either have to leave Russia or they die or they wind up in jail. That's called a dictatorship. Think it through, people. Anyone that's talking about they're on a revenge tour needs to be sitting in a room by themselves. Revenge that.
You don't need to have your hands on the lever of power anywhere at all. Y'all think about that shit. And again, look me up. Yep, all of them, dictators. We have never had a single solitary president that has ever, ever, in our over 300 years, said, I want to be a dictator. I just want control for one day, ever. The wisdom has evaporated in this country. And that's a fucking danger. Just a thought. Just a thought. Y'all have a good day.